Hello dancers, hello dance teachers. I will now talk to you and demonstrate the anatomical awareness of plies. Please, if you could put yourself in first position, facing point eight. For me, a plie is broken up into four sections. I will demonstrate the first section, which is demi-plie. So, demi-plie, if you could please demi-plie for me. If you could, dancers or dance teachers, really consider working the gluteals so that you can release the ankles. So then you receive this ballon, if you could come up again. What we tend to do is, because of the aesthetic and the picture, we get very wrapped up in the result. So that's from here to here. And for me, it's the middle bit that's the worth. So again, if you could just do demi-plié for me. The worth is, of course, in the aesthetic uh, picture, but most of the worth is in the function of the step. And the function of this step is to stretch the tendons and to release the ankles, and you can do that by holding the gluteus. Okay, if you can come up. Now I'm going to take that to the second stage, which is grand plié. If you could grand plié. Thank you. Dancers, be very careful that you don't tuck under. If you could tuck under for me. This happens because we feel that we're getting a better pull, a better working. If you could just now put it straight. Maybe if you could now come up so I don't uh, leave you down there. Dancers and dance teachers, what happens is that, from my experience, quite a few people tuck under and actually what you're doing, you're creating a traffic jam here. This might feel strange, but just to put your popo out just a little bit and you'll feel a nice release here and a relax. It's not about sitting, okay? So once again, once you go down, try this. If you do have to adjust, it's going to feel quite strange. You almost have to overcorrect it. Feel that. Tuck it under and now just release that. And then see for yourself if that feels better. Okay, thank you. So now, if I could put you again once into uh, Grand Pied in first position. The third stage is demi plie. For me, if you could come to demi plie as quick as possible, one. That's the third stage. If you could do that again for me. The third stage should be as quick as possible. Heels in the floor and up. And then the fourth stage, you engage the gluteal muscles and the adductors. If you could just go to demi again, let's do the fourth stage. So, as a dancer, she comes up. She pulls up, she works the gluteal muscles, and she works the adductors. And that's the same in second position. If you could put yourself in second, facing point one for me. Four sections, demi plie, holding the gluteals so that there is a ballon. Second section, keeping the gluteals on, not tucking under, and then quick to the demi, up, and engage, 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 open. And that's exactly the same in fourth. If you could put yourself in fourth position. Again, fourth is a very difficult position to master, so be very careful of that. Working the gluteals, that's right. Same function, demi plie for me, section one, holding the gluteal so your ankles are released. Again, all the way down. Second section, quickly to the demi, pop, and then start to work rotation, working the gluteals, adductors, and then please, if you could just put yourself in fifth position, that's exactly the same thing. Section number one. Section number two, don't tuck under. Section number three, and up. up. Okay, thank you very much. You can just relax there. I just would like to say, if I may stand in front of you, 
A couple of things to be careful of. Don't stop halfway, meaning when you grand plié, don't stop here, that's a lot of unnecessary pressure on the knee. Take that, don't sit, but try to release that. Now you, you may find that a little bit conflicting because you've heard something else. Again, I would say, I will uh, take the risk to say that all teachers are wrong and right. Yeah, we all have different beliefs and different philosophies. But I believe if you stop halfway, you're putting a lot of unnecessary pressure on the knee. So release that catching and coming up. So if I could just demonstrate that. Also now, I would like to talk about the arms. This arm from this lovely dancer is about six kilos. So it's a wonderful tool. It's a driving force. Yeah? If you use that in the classical form, and you use the gravity and these six kilos properly, what happens is this. I'm now going to throw my arm is about seven kilos in the classical form. So plie is a wonderful place to rehearse that. The coordination with the arms and the legs. It's almost as though my arm or fingers are attached to my knees and my hand instigates my plie. My hand instigates my plie. Okay, now we will demonstrate a grand plie in first position. Okay, dancer, thank you. And seven, eight. The dancer allongés and down. And you catch the third position and then extend again, allongé. She stays nice and up, nice and up, catching, allongé, and finish that, finish that dancers nice and clean thank you very much